Welcome to math class. It is Wednesday morning. I get all the days confused because I make your videos the day before, but it is actually Wednesday morning for you. Today is actually Tuesday for me, but it's Wednesday morning. We're going to go ahead and start with math. Today is review, and we're going to review a lot of we learned, what we learned yesterday, which was um, averaging numbers. So let's go ahead and start averaging numbers first. I wrote down the two steps up here. First we add the numbers, and then we divide the sum by the number of atoms. So let's go ahead and do the first one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 atoms, 85, 79, 82, and 91. So let's just add them together quick. Alright, 5 plus 9 is 14. 14, you can always put in little numbers here. 14 plus 2 is 16, 16, and 17. Carry the 1, 7 down here. 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 8. 24, 24 plus 9 is 33. There we go. So we have 337. And we're going to divide. So we divide. So we add the numbers, that's the first step. And then we divide the sum. So this is a sum. Divide the sum by the number of atoms. One, two, three, four. These are atoms. Each of them is an atom because we're adding them together to find the sum. So we have four of them, so 337 divided by four, yeah, <laughs> divided by four. So three divided by four is not work. It's impossible. We can never put three erasers into four cups, right? So a smaller will work. 33 divided by 4, we can bring it down to 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. We have 1. And then bring down 7. We can bring 17 down in our heads. And then we can go down to 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And 7 minus 6 is 1. So we have a remainder of 1. But the average number, but the average for these numbers is 84. 84 is the average from these four numbers. Okay. So let's add, and this one, this one only has two atoms. But let's add it together. The first step, add the numbers. 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 2 is 3. So we take our sum, 36, and divide it by the number of atoms. We have two atoms, so divided by two. Three divided by two, break down our heads, is one. One times two is two. Three minus one is, three minus two is one. One divided by two doesn't work, so we need to bring down six. Sixteen divided by two is eight. Eight times two is 16, 16 is zero. So 18, 18 is the average of 15 and 21. It's the average of these two numbers. Here's another one to work on. This one has three atoms. Do the, do the um, right side first. So we, got, we have six, two, and five. So six plus two is eight. Eight plus five is 13. And then we have 1, 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 63, and we're going to divide it by, we have 3 atoms, 1, 2, 3, 16, 32, 15. So we'll divide by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. Bring down the 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 21 is the average of these three numbers, 21. Today for flashcards, do times six, times four, times six, and times eight. Make sure that you write down on the seconds you get. And um, yeah, make sure you're still memorizing them and learning them well. Flashcards 
are really, really important, and they're going to help you so much in fourth grade if you know them really well. Um, let's review um, reducing a fraction with the clue denominator. So we need to figure out what we're dividing it by. So we're going to find out from the clue 12 divided by what equals 4. We know that 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So the whole number we're dividing it by must be 3. And so 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 1 fourth and 3 twelfths are equivalent fractions. This is just the reduced smaller number. We reduced it by whole number. All right, we have a story problem here. Lisa had a total of 134 yards of dress fabric. She sold 84 yards. How many yards are left? <clears throat> so we need to minus this because we're trying to find out how many are left. So she starts out with 134 yards and she sells 84. So we need to minus it to find out how many she has left. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 minus 8 does not work, so we're going to borrow. 13 minus 8 is 5. Um, Lisa has 50 yards of dress fabric left. Okay. I think we finished everything on here. Make sure you remember the steps for averaging numbers. Enjoy averaging numbers. Super fun. It was my favorite thing to do in elementary school was average numbers. And you continue to do it even through high school and through algebra and stuff. So it was really fun. I like doing it. And yeah, enjoy your math lesson, okay?